So number 19, we're trying to find uh, this little piece right here, okay? Uh, and so we're going to use proportions, all right? So you need to think of this little triangle right here as being similar to this big triangle right here because um, these lines are parallel, okay? So give me a proportion that I can use to find this whole piece right there. 20 over 16. So she is going with this side of the small triangle divided by this side of the small triangle equals what? Keep going. Um, okay. But don't we want to find this whole thing? Not just this piece right not just this piece right here? So instead of going 20 plus x, can't I just go the whole thing AC over 48 like that? And then I don't have to do the add to the thing. Okay, so either way over. Uh, all right, so the vertical side of this little triangle divided by the horizontal side equals the vertical side of this triangle divided by the horizontal side, cross multiply, divide, and you get this. Okay? Now I do the same thing to find AE. If I need to find this entire piece right here, somebody else give me a proportion that I can use to find that. I have to find the whole thing AE, this whole huge side right here. Pam? Okay, so you start the same way, 20 over 16, the vertical side of this little one divided by the horizontal side of it equals x over 75 because she went this whole vertical side here divided by that side right there. Okay, good. Cross multiply divide, what do you get? 93.75. Works for me. Okay, and then now we are going to flip to this side of the triangle. So we want to find AF. So somebody else, give me a proportion you can use to find that one. Okay, good. So now we have to go to this side of this little tiny triangle because that side is going to correspond to this big side right here. So she went 25 over 16 equals AF over 75, this guy there. Cross multiply and divide, and AF is a boot, 117 centimeters. Okay? So I say 20. Yeah. Oh, well, close enough, Jenna. It'll be all right. I just, I don't know. All right, 20. Which one of these is uh, longer and by how much? <coughs> Which trying to find the length of uh, that rod and I'll just draw one box and change the numbers, okay? Um, so this one extends from this, this corner here all the way to the opposite corner right there. And of course we know that this is four inches. This right here is five inches. And this right here is nine inches. So how do I find the length of that big diagonal piece? Okay, be more specific. Okay, I have to draw the diagonal on the bottom. So I'm going to take and draw that in right there. Okay, is that your minute? Okay, so then I can go, since this is a right angle right here, I can go 5 squared plus 9 squared equals this squared. Right? And what does that come out to be? But it doesn't really matter, does it? 
because what I'm going to do, let's call this x, okay? So I'm going to say 5 squared plus 9 squared equals x squared. So 5 squared is 25, 9 squared is 81. Uh, if I add those together, I find out that x squared is equal to 106, okay? Uh, and what I mean by it doesn't really matter is I could take the square root of that to figure out what x is exactly or approximately. But how am I going to use this to find the length of this piece right here? I'm going to square it again anyway. So now I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle right there, which means I have to go x squared plus 4 squared equals b squared. So there's no reason for me to take the square root because all I want to know is what x squared is anyway. So x squared is 106. 4 squared is 16, that equals b squared, so b squared equals 122, so b equals the square root of that, or right around 11, yeah. all right? Okay, now we're supposed to do the same thing again, except this other box has different dimensions. Um, now it is taller, so to say not drawn to scale, but it is also a little shorter this way. So how do I find what x is or what x squared is this time? Same way I did the other one, yeah, Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to say 5 squared plus 6 squared equals x squared. So 25 plus 36 equals x squared. So x squared equals 61. And again, I don't need to know um, what x is because in order to find this piece right here, I'm going to go x squared plus 6 squared equals b squared. x squared is 61, 6 squared is 36, so b squared equals 97, so what does b equal? Oh, give me a 9.8, all right. Okay, so the answer is which one is longer, box one or box two? Box one, the first one, by how much? About 1.2. If I go 11 minus 9.8, then the box one is about 1.2 inches longer. Okay? All right, why don't you uh, pass this forward? Please? 